morning, my friends. Welcome back. It is day two of our little Texas adventure yesterday. If you guys watched yesterday's video, of course there would be a plane that's interrupting this as soon as we start the video. But anyway, yesterday you guys saw the video of me and Big Andy picking up our new Diamond C unit. What do you say there, Big Andy? Good morning. Andy has recently gotten into uh, bow hunting, so he's been watching bow hunting videos for the last uh, however long, couple weeks. But anyway, guys, we're still down here in uh, Waco, Texas area. We stayed over last night because we've got another pit stop on this Texas trip. You didn't think we were driving 12 hours just to get a Diamond Sea Trail. I would do that, by the way, but uh, we are actually here because hopefully by the end of this video, we have got some extra spice going on the dually. So we have been back and forth with our man, Zach from BCC Coatings. Uh, he had a set of wheels that were kind of calling my name. So he said that he would coat them for us. So day two is hopefully going to be putting some new wheels on the dually, which I'm very excited for. This look, uh, this look is very clean. This look is very clean. A lot of people do like the very simple, clean look, but uh, just a little too, just a little too factory, factory for me. So hopefully that's what we're accomplishing today. And then we will be rolling home after that, possibly hauling some stuff back home on the diamond, breaking it in right. But anyway, that's where the day is starting, my friends. What do you say, Big Andy? I got it. Andy's got nothing. Just coming out straight nothing. That's okay. But uh, we might actually go, this thing, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, the trailer is uh, absolutely disgusting. Uh, so we need to go wash it off, possibly. So maybe that's what we're headed to now. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys posted on uh, where the day... Real quick, guys, before we get this video started, just want to take a second and thank you guys all for an amazing 2021. We have so many awesome good things planned for the upcoming year, so make sure you guys are staying tuned. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button and are subscribed for all the videos and also couldn't do a lot of what we do without the amazing people that help on this channel, one of which being the amazing guys at Rock Auto. You guys know we have been working with Rock Auto and getting tons and tons of parts from them, we just got a ton of shipment in uh, of parts from the guys over at Rock Auto, so make sure you guys are following along. Honestly, anything from, I always get these names pronounced wrong, but Molly Gaskets, which we use uh, a lot, Mall Gaskets, which we use a lot on all of our truck builds and stuff like that. So we've got some new valve cover gaskets. Again, I love using this brand, they carry that. And also, not only that, good prices, fast shipping, and genuine Mopar parts, which again, we try and use genuine Mopar parts, uh, and also the mall gaskets, which we are a huge fan of. We can all can get that all that stuff from the guys over at Rock Auto, so huge shout out and thank you to them. Let's get to today's video. Also, huge shout out to all the rest of the companies that we work with on the channel that help us make all this content possible. Huge shout out to them, the guys over at Banks, I Build My Diesel, Amsoil, to name a very few. So anyway, huge thank you to them. Let's roll on with this video. Washing it up here. 
quick, dude. You're running out of time. Three, two. Hate to see it. Thank you. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, yeah, six dollars worth of cleaning going. On. Oh man. Could have had 25 more seconds. Is that a quarter? Yeah, I think it blew off the deck. Uh, I had Show them how you harness that thing. Like this? Nah. What? Put oh, it in there. Holster? Holster it up. Harness holster? Guys, well. Oh boy, we got water spots all on this thing. No! On the new cam, dude. dude on the is new. Is it okay? This is your that's I don't a battery know. holster. Oh no, golly. Is it still recording? Yeah, it's still Probably recording. We gotta put that in there. Yeah, of course oh it's still recording. Look, I wish you could see. Oh no. All right, well, mission accomplished. We got the trailer somewhat a little bit cleaner. We didn't suffer too many too many damages to our camera here. Uh, that, that's, why, that's why you buy the insurance. So I can go into Best Buy and be like, here, Here's my extra insurance. I dropped this thing and they cover drops. So, you know what, we'll get it fixed, we'll get it taken care of, but word to the wise, if you know you're gonna drop your camera, you might wanna buy the extra insurance that uh, covers covers that. But anyway, we got her somewhat clean, not a full, nice, work lights. Not a full cleanup job, but good enough to, uh, to roll home so we don't look like uh, we don't care about our trailer. So, anyway. That is check one box off the list for today. Andy's giving her Andy's giving her a little wipe down. Come to Texas. Get new uh, dually wheels and tires that you guys haven't seen. Check out the Peterbilts. Look at the wheelbase on this thing. Guys, we get sidetracked every video by big truck things. Look at this thing. The way the lighting is hitting it, I mean, I feel like we could just put it right on the trailer. It might be a little long. Wow. Guys, that is a wheelbase and a half, but it's a unit. I don't want to trip and uh, fall here. Wow, that is that is some nice iron right there. Whew. Gotta have the Peterbilt. Oh my gosh, look who we found. It's Lacey Larry. It's the one and only actually oh, everyone vlog. every yeah, vlog is how to vlog. You know, let Lacey, get out get out of the oh, way. Sorry. I'm actually just here for Zach, you know, because that oh sorry. As everyone is. Sorry, sorry. I'm really just here for Zach. You know what I mean? Like me, you know. Somebody. Lacey, you're great. I mean, I get it. It's cool. Okay. But you know, Zach. I'm always in Zach's shadow. <laughs> I'm in Lacey's shadow. What are we doing over here? We're putting jump box on here just to be safe. Oh, okay. <laughs> And you're missing something right in uh, in that general it's area. Down, it's in the floorboard. Oh, nice. Yeah, I might want to take that out so it doesn't uh, yeah, rattle yeah. around. Would be a bad idea. All right, so yeah, I feel like Lacey might hit me if I call this Zach's race truck, but uh, oh, this is. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna make me sleep on the couch. Uh, Zach's about to sleep in the uh, in the shop tonight, but we have Lacey Lacey's Duramax here, camoed out with the hater pipe out the fender. <laughs> Yes. So, while we're waiting for some lug nuts to show up, we're gonna go for a quick drive.
over at Shifted Industries taking care of us on the uh, these front wheels. We are taking off adapters. Rear ones still need adapters, so we got. Woo! So do you run these? You run Shifted on pretty much yeah, a lot of that's stuff. The one thing my man Zach telling us how it is. Shift it, do it. All right, Let's see how these back ones go on. I never seen a Peterbilt like that before. <laughs> it's just self tapping. Yeah. This is the baby Peterbilt? This is the daily Peterbilt? Yeah, self tapping got, belt. It's got kings on her and everything. Dum, dum, dum. Sometimes it turns on. Oh, it did. Wow. It's, it's kind of dirty. You got two spoolie boys in here? Yeah. Nice. Two not, not too bad. That looks, looks like a unit and a half in here. Yeah, I use a big uh, shoe spoon to get it in. <laughs> I'm about to pull up on this work truck and just straight get gap of these. <laughs> it is the best. <laughs> getting ready to close out this video obviously we have traveled back from texas honestly this video is a little bit behind so we have been driving 
all around first chance that I have gotten to show you guys the full dually setup, exactly what we got while we were down in Texas. Uh, super awesome time meeting all those guys, Lacey and Zach and the whole crew down there. Uh, super, super awesome, fun people. Uh, but anyway, let's get to the, to the new setup on the dually because it is a... It is a beast, let me tell you what. So went with a super single uh, setup, which is basically a normal wheel and tire in the front. Got rid of the dually spacer and went with a normal front wheel. Still dually wheels in the back, obviously, uh, but these are 24s. 24s, these are American Force, I believe it's Independence is the is the model number on them. They are extremely dirty, have not even had a chance to uh, clean them up. So. They need to be cleaned up, but they are gloss black and then have kind of like a brushed window in them to give them a little bit of an accent. Sorry, again, for the uh, for the for the rain and the truck is actually completely filthy. I was going to try and do a nice do a nice cleanup job on it to show you guys, but we still have to do a little bit of work. Uh, Zach was awesome enough. He got us these true spike lug nuts for the front. Uh, so again, the wheels bolt inside of the cap, so they are a true eight lug. The caps are actually just fake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get some gloss black caps because the wheels, you can't really tell, but the wheels are gloss black. Went with gloss black this time. Um, Zach went ahead and put some really nice clear coat on them so it kind of helps with the scratching, but American Force Independence 24s and a true 35 1250 tire on that. So 24 by 12 normal wheel in the front, which honestly, it gives it such an absolute tough look. It is, it is super awesome. I am honestly in love with the new look. Got the shifted industry spacers on the back. And again, we need to get some painted caps for for the back. So true 10 lug, got the adapter in the back. Again, 35, 12, 50 tire. Went with the tires that Zach actually had these tires, which honestly kind of lucked out, which helped us with the setup. But tires are like 90% on these. Again, Nitto Terra Grapplers, really smooth, honestly balanced out really, really well. Uh, but again, independence in the back, you guys can see the uh, the brushed windows there. Give it a little bit of a look, but we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and get some gloss black uh, cap covers and paint these caps gloss black to match the gloss black wheels. Again, they look absolutely dirtier than crap. But these spacers, the back wheels don't stick out anywhere near as far as the previous setup, which is actually pretty nice. But the front wheels, front wheels are large and in charge, let me tell you what. We are gonna have to do uh, a little bit something in the front here, as you guys can see. We don't have quite the turning radius that we once had, and that needs to change, obviously, tow and trailers. Uh, that's, that's not a good thing. You need, you need full turning clearance, so we are going to make that happen one way, shape, or form. We have to have full turning radius, and it is now downpouring. Guys, anyway, but that is, that is the new setup on the dually. Once we get it cleaned up, we'll do a little edit and show you guys the full, the full deal, but rolling down the road, this thing looks absolutely, absolutely tough. But guys, that is that is going to wrap up the last video of, I'm already getting the years mixed up, 2021, guys. Uh, super appreciative of all of the support uh, on everything, guys. Couldn't do it without you guys. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a safe uh, holiday. Hopefully you guys have made some huge goals for 22. We have definitely made some huge goals here at 22. You guys will see all of that unfold. I am so excited, so excited for this upcoming year, everything that we are planning and just, just everything. So again, huge thank you guys to you guys for watching the channel, watching the video, supporting, hitting the like button, uh, subscribing, all of that good stuff, supporting us on Wrenchworks. Couldn't do it without you guys. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, we will catch up with you guys in 2022 we're starting the 2022 video schedule off with some bangers on some engine dyno stuff which i know you guys i've been teasing on my instagram uh but engine dyno videos coming up the first part of 22 so anyway boys that is a wrap i love you guys we'll see you guys in the next video see ya